From 4 News Now, with live updates throughout the day, breaking news as it happens, and weather every 10 minutes, this is KXLY+. Plus. Good morning for 4 News Now, I'm Rob King. We have a fun interview today with a local children's book author, Denver Morford. His first and new book, Two Goofy Dogs, is available to purchase now online at barnesnoble.com and in retail stores. Let's bring in Denver right now to talk about the book and hopefully about his dogs. Denver, how are you? Doing wonderful today, how are you? Doing great. Uh, so let's get Thank right into it. 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 Two goofy dogs, I assume they're your dogs. Absolutely, yes they are. Um, our dogs, uh, Charlie and Harry. Um, Charlie was a strange dog that we got back in 2016. Uh, English cream golden retriever and was, yep, the uh, just the most awkward dog that I've had in my whole life. And I've had a golden retriever my entire life. Um, his facial expressions, his, his intelligence, his stubbornness was just hilarious. Um, one day we found out that his brother um, was in desperate need of rescuing. His name was Harry. And we raced across the state and uh, rescued Harry and brought him into our family. Um, and yeah, there's Harry right there on the screen. Yep, that was the very first day that he joined our family. Um, he was, we rescued him. Uh, he was about 100 pounds overweight. Um, his nutrition wasn't there. He'd never been bathed or clipped or groomed. And we brought him into our family and made him our own and showed him um, a lifestyle that I believed that he deserved to have. And as a result, um, this book just came to me. One night I sat down with Harry by my side and I wrote my first draft of Two Goofy Dogs. It was almost, it was almost um, like it was meant to be. That's awesome. Were you, so you haven't written a book before though? No, I have not. Were you always kind of like a creative person? Were you uh, always, you know, just making stuff? Um, yes. So in my past life, I was a car dealer selling Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Um, I took care of our web presence, um, website development, and all that stuff. So I did have a, a lot of creative juices um, in my past. Um, after retiring, I went to work at our local middle school as a math educator. So I've always had an eye for kids and an eye for dogs. And it was really kind of fun putting this whole thing together, the way that it went down. So what made you want to sit down and write the book? I mean, you have the dogs, they're inspiring to you. Uh, what was like the process if you're like, you know what, I'm actually going to do this, not just, you know, a lot of people think about doing stuff, but to actually go down and implement. Well, so we rescued Harry, brought him into our family, and the way our house is set up, um, we have a hallway, and he would maintain a presence in that hallway where he could flee in either direction. Mm. And it was his way of, of um, making sure that he could be safe. Well, after about 45, 60 days of him living with us, he decided to join our family in the living room one night. And he came down, he sat right in front of me, um, and he had this big, huge grin smile on his face. And at that moment, it just absolutely melted my heart. And I grabbed my computer and I hashed out the story of, of, of Charlie and how Harry came to join our family. And the, the, the story is, my family, all four of us. It has my Jeep in it. It has our neighborhood. It has our true to life story, including the restaurant that we went to after we rescued him on the table in my book. You can see the exact restaurant bags and all that stuff. So, oh my God, how cute. A little voice inside my head just said, This is a story that really needs to be told. Um, I've had rescue dogs throughout my past, and all of them have had a different story, different personalities, different hot buttons, um, and a different way that they. Uh, melded with our family, but Harry was so incredibly unique and to have him be the biological brother of Charlie um, and watching these two funny, strange dogs interact with each other, it was absolutely um, something that that little voice inside my head said, this story needs to be told and I hashed it out. Uh, so how serious does the story get? I mean, it sounds like, you know, Harry came from a pretty uh, serious condition. Uh, how, so how, how deep do you dive into that? Um, I touch on it just a little bit. Um, being a children's book, it needs to be light, it needs to be fun, it needs to be engaging. Um, with my two kids, we would read books to them every single night. And 
I think most parents can agree. There's a set of books that are the first ones to come out and you love reading them. You spend a lot of time pointing out all the little things on all the different pages. And I wanted this book to be one of those. So I wanted it light, I wanted it fun. Um, in the back of the book, I actually have a full page dedicated that if people are considering rescuing an uh, animal, um, some things to look out for. Um, the intelligence level of dogs, how long it takes for them to join the family, how to build trust, how to build a consistent family dynamic that the dog can then feel comfortable joining on their own accord. So awesome. if you want that for further reading, I have the resources in the back of the book. That's excellent. And that, that's, you know, makes it not just selling a children's book, but also bringing that educational value to it of like, hey, we can also help in this. Absolutely. Way. I, um, also, I did want to, oh, uh, yeah, I did want to talk about the art style of it. You mentioned you wanted it to be light. You wanted to have lots of pictures. Uh, the art style, I think, is really interesting. Can you talk about that and the illustrator? Yes. So um, I hashed out my first couple of drafts. I went through about six months of making sure the, the rhyming scheme was nice and 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 easily to, to easy to track and, and flow and was engaging. Um, once I had that finished, I reached out. And one of the very first illustrators that I met on Instagram, um, her name is Frederica. Um, she saw my manuscript and we connected and it was exactly like the stars aligned. Um, it's right along the lines of her passion. She's an award-winning illustrator out of Germany. Um, we spent a lot of time conferencing. She then came back with the first draft of all of her drawings. And they were perfect. It captured the emotion of our family, the emotion of the dogs, the facial expressions of the dog. And it just, I mean, I'm getting goosebumps talking about it because it was the stars just aligned. Um, her family and her kids are, are the same age as our kids. They actually made a trip to America last summer and we got the opportunity to spend a couple, three days with them in their travels. Feel very blessed and lucky. And we have a lifelong friendship and um, just very blessed how it came together the way it did. Well, that's cool. You were able to meet her in person. How awesome. Yeah, uh, and she's incredibly talented. All of the illustrations have a depth. Um, in the background, you can see some of the illustrations that she did. This is the book cover. Uh, behind me on the other side is what's inside the book. Um, you can point, spend time with your kids pointing out the snails or the little car. Our cat Tiny is right there dead center. Um, also in the book, in the background above the couch where my finger is, I have her pepper her original artwork throughout the book with chickens and farm scenes and some of the things that she has won awards with in the past. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Now, is this the start of your new book writing career? Are we getting a series of these books? Do you have any more plans? Yes, my second book is an idea that has never been done. Well, first of all, Two Goofy Dogs. There has never been a book in history named Two Goofy Dogs. <laughs> the website was not spoken for, twogoofydogs.com. What are the odds in today's day and age? That's gotta be a challenge in and of itself is finding something unique that nobody owns. I know it. So I'm really excited. My second book is done. I'm awaiting illustrations on that. Um, my third book is in, is in production. I'm working on the final manuscript on that. And then I'm also wanting to write a middle school age novel that ties all of this stuff together to describe Harry's first year with our family. And um, I'm really excited. I've started development on that as well. So yes, there, there is a series that will ensue over the next couple of years. I think that's kind of cool too. I don't know if you intended this, but to write middle school age material, it's kind of like as your kids are growing up, they'll be able to like the, the reading material will grow up with them. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that was my intent. And, and the motivating factor was I'm working in a middle school environment and that age group is hilarious to work with. So that was one of my main inspirations to do that. Well, you gotta be careful. You might have to pay out residuals then. <laughs> <laughs> little royalties for a little help. Yeah. All right. <laughs> awesome. Well, Denver Morford's new book, Two Goofy Dogs, is available now at Barnes and & Noble and uh, BN.com where you can buy that online. Denver himself, if you want to meet him, get your book signed. Meet the man behind the book. He will be at the Barnes & Noble in Spokane Valley this Saturday, August 19th, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Denver, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for hopping on. Thank you so much for having me. It's been an honor. I really appreciate it.
And like I said, Denver will be out at the Barnes Noble in Spokane Valley. Thank you for watching. If you missed some of the interview, the whole thing will be up on our website later today. Uh, thank you, Denver, as well. Go check it out. Sounds like a good time. But for now, live in studio, I'm Rob King for 4 News Now.